today we are creating this fur 3d logo design using canva and it could also be used on your instagram it pops out on your social media platform because it's huge and it's attractive so join me let's do this from your canva home page search and look for logo and create a blank canvas once the canvas has opened up you're then going to change the background of the color to black you're gonna click on the canvas itself and change background to black once that's done you're gonna go to your elements and you're going to search for circle so you could click where it says circle and canva is going to search for circle for you and then you can scroll down so you click on the circle that you would like to use I want this one and I'm going to change color and make it gold and enlarge the circle like that so in order for the circle or this layer not to trouble me when I'm busy designing I'm going to lock the design and lock the circle so that I can carry on with my design without being bothered next I'm going to go to my elements and I'm going to search for fur this fur that you search for it would be a graphic that we search for that we're going to use and then I'm gonna scroll down until I find the C you just click on it once and then you add it on your design so with the fur designs you could create your own letters using Adobe Illustrator but Canva makes it so much easy for us because it gives us these elements that are available. But what I want to show you, if you're designing for somebody that wants to copyright their logo, Canva has rules when it comes to the elements and the graphic designs that are created. So if you want to see what you could copyright or not copyright, you click on the info I. You again click on the I. Then you're able to check and, and see the licensing behind the graphic that you, you've used because it says that you can use it for any design, for personal or commercial, you can use it on your social media, but you, it becomes a problem when you want to trademark the design because you can't trademark the design. Uh, so you need to be very careful when you're using it on a logo because you can't trademark somebody else's design. If you want to start from brand new then you need to use software like Adobe Illustrator and create your own fur like but if somebody is not wanting to trademark their logo then you, you can go ahead and use it I just wanted to show you that so that you are aware so once the C is added you can move it to the side and make it a bit smaller so that it fits the design itself and then we carry on and we look for a J. So there's a couple of these fur like um, letters that are available. Like you see, there's a J that you can click on once and then you size it so that it's the same size as your C. And then you twist it around so that it is in line. And that's your design. What I also wanted to show you is if you scroll down some more there are other colors that you can find of these letters that are available that you can use with other additional designs for your logos like this one the end so if you click on the end itself and add it on there you will see canva is going to show you magic recommendations and you get to view and see additional letters that you could be using for additional designs that you would like to make so i just want to delete this one because we're not using it so next you're going to add text so you press t for text so the next thing i would change the color and make it gold as well and then the last thing that you would do is to change the direction of the text so that the effect is a curve so you would click on effects and then you would scroll down to the bottom of the effects and you click on curve 
and then you scroll down a little bit and you would curve the text the other way around so that it curves with our circle and there you go your 3d fur like design logo that you've done on canva so all you do now is you click on share and you scroll down to download and you can download your png or your jpeg depending on where you're going to use the file and you click on download so if you would like to learn more about the different kinds of download you can watch this video that i did that helps you learn when to download what and I will see you on the next video. Thank you for joining me today.